Hi Gospel Guitarist here with another episode of Audio Tech. Today we're going to be talking about uh, a little bit on gates. Um, what I have here is a Behringer model with four complete gates um, on one unit. So let's zoom in and take a look at one of the channels. Okay, so what we have here are your basic controls for the gate start right here in which you would have a threshold control that you would set for when you want the gate to be activated once the gate is activated you're going to want to set how long which is called the hold how long should it stay open hold itself open before it closes now when a gate closes you also have another control which will tell the gate how fast sh to shut the door, for example. Okay, so when the door opens, how long to keep it open, and when to slam it shut. Um, and that's what a gate does. It'll open the path to a microphone on stage or in your recording studio that is only on when you need it to be on. And one of the th things that come on this gate here um, is a side chain filter which allows you to pick a frequency that um, will control the gate so it's actually frequency specific whether it's a kick drum that's used to open the gate or a snare drum for example or a guitar or a vocal <clears throat> they all have different frequency ranges and you can play with the side chain frequency filter to set the specific instrument you're using um, to, to, for that microphone to open up. Um, commonly that's used on drums. I don't have a lot of experience with that, but I, I did learn how to do it um, to where you can use something like this um, on a drum, on a kick drum with a, with a snare, for example, where you want those two to be really tight. When they play together, they need to be tight. So if you have one drum open up the other drum when it's hit, it's going to be very tight. Okay, so all that sloppiness will, will not be there on the recording. Um, and then we have a, uh, a range knob here. So different gates do different things. Um, this is the only gate I have any experience in using. Um, I know that some gates do not have the, the side chains and they might just have uh, your basic controls on this side. For the uh, for the chain, you can use this as a as an expander or a gate. So an expander kind of expands down towards the low end frequencies, where a gate would would just shut things off. So mostly they're used, um, in my case, as as a gate. So if you have a lot of microphones on on stage and you need some of them quiet and you keep forgetting to turn them on and off on things like that, you can use a gate unit to do that for you and take care of that. But you have to remember that the gates are there because <laughs> you want things to be turning on when you need them on and turn them off when you need them off. So I find that this is more helpful in the studio, uh, you know, to keep certain noises to a minimum while I'm recording. So uh, that's a basic introduction to what a gate does. It just simply takes a microphone signal and it acts like a, a really complex mute button um, that's on your mixer. You just have one button on your mixer to turn a to turn a channel on and off. But instead of keep running to that mute button, you can have one of these set up, and it becomes an automatic mute button for you. So they're kind of handy to have around. They do you can do use them in special effects and everything like that. Um, I don't use them in that much in that realm, but there's like gated reverbs, gated delays, usually those are built into guitar processors, so um, you could use a unit like this along with a delay and reverb to, to set up some kind of custom effect. Um, so there's lots of different ways you can use that. I would suggest if you're interested in any of those more fancy ways of doing it to uh, do some web searching and, and find out that information. I don't have any experience in that, but just to use them as basically an on-off switch for a microphone is what I use them for. But that's what a gate does. So at least now you know what a gate does. Anyway, that's just a real quick introduction to them. Uh, 
hope you find it a little bit helpful. So thanks for watching and I shall catch you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be turning out a whole lot of these. These are really short, but in, right now they're just the intro series. So, but I will go deeper over time as I develop the series. So thanks for watching and have a good day now.